This story is set in the bustling city of Jericho, where there lived a man named Zack. Zack was known for being quite a mean man. He worked for the Romans collecting taxes, and he was known for being a very unfair man, often taking more money than he should. And he was rich. He wore fine clothes and probably had bling around his neck. One more thing you need to know about this guy called Zach is that he was also very short. He would not have made the school basketball team. And one day, Jesus is traveling through the city of Jericho. Jesus, the one who's been doing these amazing miracles, telling incredible stories, and everybody in town wants to get a glimpse of Jesus. And so you can imagine the swarms of people gathering around Jesus, trying to get a glimpse of him, pushing and shoving to try and see something of this man who's doing miracles. But as I said, Zach was short. He wanted to see Jesus, but he couldn't see past the crowds. He probably tried jumping, no good. But then he sees a tree and he runs over to the tree and begins to climb this tree. I imagine sweat beginning to form on his brow. He is desperate to capture just a glimpse of Jesus. And as he climbs higher and higher in the tree, he can see Jesus amongst the crowd of people. And he sits there in the tree watching as Jesus and the crowd get closer and closer. The noise of the crowd gets closer and closer. And within moments, the crowd is just below the tree. And Jesus looks up at Zach. And as Jesus looks up at Zach, the entire crowd looks up at Zach. So there is Zach, eye to eye with Jesus, there amongst this massive crowd of people. And Zach's probably thinking, why is Jesus looking at me? And as the whole crowd begins to look at him, Zach probably feels a little bit awkward. He's a fully grown man in fine clothes, sitting in a tree. And then Jesus says to Zach, come down immediately. I must come to your house today. I wonder what was going through Zach's mind. How does he know my name? And why does he want to come to my house? Zach shoots down the tree as fast as he can and the whole crowd watches on. Now the crowd know Zach. They know he's quite mean. They know he is not very fair and they begin to mutter. But in that instance, by the tree, with the crowd around, something happens to Zach. He says to Jesus, right now I give half of everything I have to the poor. And anybody I've cheated, I'll pay back four times the amount. Wow, that is some change. Zach has been transformed. And then Jesus says to him, today, you and your house have been made right with God. Number one, climb a tree safely and reflect upon this story. Number two, reread the story from Luke chapter 19 verses one to nine and try and retell the story from a different point of view, perhaps even the tree's perspective. Number three, in the story, Jesus invites himself around to Zach's house. Imagine Jesus is coming to your house for tea. Set the table for him and then as a family, talk about what questions you might ask Jesus if he was coming to your house for tea. Number four, Zach is transformed in this encounter with Jesus and becomes generous. How can you as a family be generous in some way today? Number five, what do you like about Jesus in this story? Write a letter of thanks to Jesus as a family. 
For more ideas of how you can explore the Christian faith in the home, check out the Kitchen Table Project.